On to girls' hoops action. We head to Springfield High School, where the Versailles Lady Tigers are taking on the East Clinton Astros in Division Three District Semifinals play. First quarter rebound comes to Taylor Wagner. Somehow bounces it to Allison Schwartz for the easy lay-in. Lady Tigers up too early. Next time down, Versailles at it again as Jenna Dirksen drives and hits the bunny in the lane. Lead up to four for Versailles. Lady Tigers down one now, however, Katie Litton would change that. She drives and stops and pops a jumper in from the charity stripe. Versailles back up one. Then Lady Tigers down five, but getting second chances on offense as Allison Schwartz gets the board and dimed. Jenna, Jenna Dirksen puts it in, lead cut to three. Lady Tigers on the attack again when Litton gets the pass, drives, and hits the jumper and the foul. The number seven seed defeats the number one seeded Astros 45-41. Versailles will play Afrocentric on Saturday at 1 p.m. in Springfield. More girls hoops action. Division four now. Regional rematch from 2021 in Elida between the Toledo Christian Lady Eagles and the Crestview Lady Knights. Picking it up in the third. Crestview down 30 to 24. Off the inbound, Ellie Klein finds Callie Gregory in the post. She's going to make a move to get this basket. Lady Knights trail by four. Then Klein showing off the defense. She gets the steal and takes it all the way end to end for the easy lay in. Crestview trailing by nine at the end of the third. Now in the fourth, Gregory goes left around the screen and puts up the circus shot while double teamed. She's going to bank it off the glass. Lady Knights pull within seven. Then Macy Kulwicki, she's going to get the board on the third try to bank this in. However, the Lady Knights would fall 36 to 50 to end an incredible season. Now for more Division IV regional action at the Fieldhouse. Second game of the night in Elida features a showdown between Hopewell Loudon and the Columbus Grove Lady Dogs. We're going to pick up the action in the second quarter. Lauren Ockmoody finds Jalen Sauter on the inbound. Her floater is good to tie the game up at nine. But Grove goes into the half trailing 14 and nine. To the third we go. Good ball movement on the perimeter. Finds Sage Clement dialing it up from way back. That basket ties things up at 14. Now another steal from CG as Ock Moody takes the ball end to end for the easy bucket. Grove finally takes the lead by two. Now Sauter, she's going to get open beyond the arc. She's going to nail this three to put the Lady Dogs up by two once again. And a few plays later, Abby Stetschulte finds Kendall Palti open inside. Columbus Grove with another win. Lady Dogs will take on Toledo Christian on Saturday at 1 p.m. back in Elida in a regional finals rematch of last season.